Have you ever heard of Putty? It's a free and open source terminal emulator, serial console, and network file transfer application. It supports several network protocols, including SCP, SSH, Telnet, and other protocols. It can also connect to a serial port. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you three methods to connect to the command line interface, or CLI, of the switch using PuTTY. This includes a serial connection, SSH, and Telnet. After downloading PuTTY, open the application. If you don't have PuTTY, click the link in the description to download it. To start, let's see how to connect using a serial connection. You might want to use this option for the initial configuration of your switch. I'll choose Serial as the connection type and COM3 as the serial line. If you don't know the port on the computer when setting up the connection, you can open your device manager. Scroll down to Ports and check the USB serial port that is connected to the switch. Next, I'll make sure the speed is set as 115,200 and not to the default value of 9600. I'll select the default value of 8 for data bits and 1 for stop bits. If you're having an issue connecting, make sure these parameters are set to the correct values as shown. For flow control, I'm going to select none. This is the recommended method of preventing data overflow. This looks good. I'll click open. You can see that the command line interface opens. Here, I'm going to log in using my username and password. The default username and password are Cisco. I'm connected and ready to use the CLI. Now I'll go over SSH and Telnet methods. But before that, I need to access my switch to see if it has the capability to support these methods. Once I log into the web interface of the device, I need to navigate to security and then TCP UDP services. By default, SSH and Telnet are disabled. I'll enable both and then click Apply. Next, I'll go back to the PuTTY program and select SSH as the connection type. In the host name field, I'll enter the IP address for the switch. In this example, it is 192.168.0.28. By default, the port that SSH uses is 22. I'll then click Open and enter the username and password for the switch in the PuTTY terminal. You can see that I'm connected. Finally, I'll go over the Telnet option. In the PuTTY program, I'll select the connection type as Telnet and enter the IP address for the switch. The port is 23, which is the default port number that the protocol uses. The settings look fine, and I'll click Open to enter my username and password in PuTTY. Now I'm connected and all set. It's as simple as that. Now you can choose one of these options to access the CLI of your CBS switch using PuTTY. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.